Hey guys, this is the first video I'm recording as part of the instructional TI-83 videos for our class, STA-2014. Um, what I'm going to show you how to do today, or remind you how to do, is to calculate relative frequencies with the TI-83. Okay, so I grabbed the data from exercise 17, section 2.1 on your textbook, and this is data from a survey they they applied on college students asking them when they wear their seat belts um, what part of the time they wore their seat belts and these were the possible answers never rarely sometimes most of the time always and these were the frequencies for our convenience I've calculated the total down here okay so we know that if we want to calculate the relative frequency all we have to do is um, divide each individual frequency by the total f uh, by the total number of observations in this case 4776 4, okay but that might actually take us a long time to do by hand so what I'm going to do is show you how we can do it with the TI-83 so hit stat and where you, you're on this screen uh, notice you have edit highlighted we want option one and option one which was also called edit is going to open us this screen with a couple of lists okay so in this list what I'm going to do is enter the frequencies not the total okay just the frequencies okay and what I'm going to do next is scroll over one column and point up and what that's gonna do is it's gonna highlight the list right next to it okay so um, now I want to tell to this list to divide each one of these by the total and the way we do that is um, you press second one which is gonna say L1 which is where I have all my elements um, all my frequencies and we're going to divide this by the total okay which I've already calculated I press enter and I'm going to get all the fre uh, relative frequencies here notice that I'm all above uh, buttons 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 I have in yellow the names of the list that I could um, get if I press second first okay let's do this and if you add this up you will notice that you'll end up getting a number very close to 1 so that's how we know we did it right okay guys that's it um i'll see you in class and i'm gonna be posting more videos later bye bye